Safe use of electrical equipment. Electric shock and effects on human body. Electric shock. Nearly everyone has experienced an electric shock at some time. At best it is an unpleasant experience, at worst it is fatal. Dangers of an electric shock. When electricity passes through our body, we get an electric shock. Our body parts undergo a certain suffering. This is called an electric shock. If any person receives a shock, the main switch of the power supply must be switched off. If the victim gets attached to the wire or the appliance do not touch him, but he must be separated from electricity using a dry stick. First aid for an electric shock. If you find that the victim has difficulty to take breath, give him artificial respiration CPR. If restored breathing place him in recovery posture at the open air else continue CPR till medical facilities arrive. Effects of electric shock on human body. How much electric current can the human body actually withstand? There's a basic law in electricity called Ohm's law, which you will invariably come across while studying anything related to electricity. The law defines the relationship between voltage and current flowing through a circuit. To put this more simply, it says that the higher the number of amps, the greater the number of volts. You may have seen warning messages on electrical boards and generators imprinted with the universally recognized emblem of danger, a human skull floating above to crossbones. In addition to this symbol, there's also the rating of the machine in question, which typically highlights the voltage range at which it operates. These warnings tells that direct unprotected physical contact with the machine can be fatal, because these boards and many other warning signs consist of voltage ratings. People tend to get the idea that a certain threshold of volts can be lethal for humans. People can get electrocuted by house appliances that operated only 110 or 230 volts. In fact, there have been cases of electrocution by electrical apparatus that uses little as 42 volts of direct current. This is why the real measure of a shock severity lies in the amount of current, or the number of amps being forced through the body, not the voltage, it is the number of amps. Any amount of current over 10 milliamps is capable of producing severe shocks, but currents in the range of 100 to 200 milliamps could be very painful, and even fatal. Currents above 200 milliamps may produce severe burns and unconsciousness. But if immediate medical assistance is provided, the victim may still be saved. If more than 200 milliamps pass through a person's body, the muscular contractions are so severe that the heart is forcibly clamped shut during the shock. This is why providing immediate medical attention is the only way to improve the victim's chances of survival as their heart may need to be restarted. The volts, amps, frequency and duration of current that deals a lethal blow to the body. If it were just the amps, then static electricity shocks like those you occasionally get when you touch doorknobs would be lethal, but they're not. Current can only be pushed through the body by volts, which can be lethal only when they're pushed at a certain frequency for a long enough duration. The condition of the skin also plays a key role as a body's resistance to the flow of current may vary from 1000 ohms for wet skin to over 500,000 ohms for dry skin. In other words, it means that the severity of an electrical shock would be much higher if the skin is wet, because more current will flow due to a lower resistance. Additionally, the actual resistance of the body also depends on the point of contact. For instance, the internal resistance from hand to foot is nearly 500 ohms, but only 100 ohms between the ears. Thus more current can flow between the ears, which makes that area more prone to injuries. The risks of electric shock are much greater on board ship than they are normally ashore because wetness, high humidity and high temperature, including sweating, reduce the contact resistance of the body. In those conditions, severe and even fatal shocks may be caused at voltages as low as 60 volts. 
It should also be borne in mind that cuts and abrasions significantly reduce skin resistance. A notice of instructions on the treatment of electric shock should be posted in every place containing electrical equipment and switchgear.